Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a checkbox within a cell when we enter any data within that row. So let's see a demo. Type here the serial number 4. You can see the checkbox appeared and here you can enter the name. So as much as you can just enter okay in this way when we enter the serial number we got the checkboxes and you can also do like this you put a serial number checkbox will not appear when we enter the name then checkbox will appear we can also do that and you can also link this checkbox to any of the cells from this sheet or any other sheet so if I click here you can see only this cell is linked and if you want to hide this just you can select and change the color of this font and if you want to delete this data then you do not have to delete this checkbox separately just delete this serial number the checkbox disappeared then again you enter the check serial number you got the checkbox so now we will learn how to create this but before that I request you that if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel and press the bell button so that you do not miss any new updates and notifications from our channel when you upload new Excel automation videos and different types of tips and tricks of Excel that makes your life easier and save lots and lots of time. So please subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell button and hit the like button to show your love for me. So let's begin this tutorial. So enter new sheet and here type SL number name and tick and here we'll put this real number and here name and here the checkboxes so we will create a VBA code for this so right click on this sheet and select view code and now here in this area you select worksheet and then here change delete this one and here we have to enter this code so what we have entered in this code let's understand so first on error resume next that means if we get any error within this code then it will pass that line and go to the next line so first application dot screen update equal to false that means when this work will go on there will be no update in the screen that means when we enter a number here then first a checkbox will be entered then its caption will be deleted then the size will be changed its position will be changed so all this thing will be not updated in the screen one by one till complete this total code after that the screen will update that is application dot screen update equal to true so now here is the condition if not intersect target comma range a colon e is nothing and target dot value not equal to blank that means if we change any cell within this range and the target cells value is not equal to blank then only this code will work so here this is column a means with if we change anything within this range then only checkbox will appear otherwise not if you don't want to create checkbox for changes in column A and you want for column B that is 
if I put serial number, the checkbox will not appear. When we enter the name, then checkbox will appear. Then here we have to type B colon B. So if this logic is true, then sheet 3, here we have taken for sheet 4. So here we have to take sheet 4, checkboxes dot add. So in sheet 4, a new checkbox will add. So where it will be added? Left equal to range C and target dot row. That means the checkbox will be added in C target row. So if this is the target row, then the new checkbox will be added in the C2. Then top position of the checkbox will be range C dot target row. That means same, it is C2. That means the top position of sheet C2. Then width, the checkbox of the width will be C, same thing for C2. Then height of the checkbox will be same, the height of C2. Here you can see dot height, dot select. That means after adding this checkbox, this checkbox will be selected. Then with selection, dot name equal to ch and target row. The name of the checkbox will be ch and target row. That means here when we enter data, then the checkbox will appear and the name of the checkbox will be ch2, then ch3 for this ch4 in this way. After that, caption, caption equal to blank. So in the checkbox caption, it will be completely blank. After that, linked cell. Now we will link this checkbox with a particular cell. So in which cell do we want to link? Suppose you want to link in the same cell, that is C2 itself, then you have to type C and target row. And if you want to link different cell, then you have to give you the range. Then dot value equal to Excel off. That means when the new checkbox appear, then there will be no tick mark. After that, dot display 3D shading equal to false. That means the checkbox will not have any 3D effect. Then end with. And here closes the end if. If not intersect, target comma range AA is nothing and target va target dot value equal to blank. That means if we change within the range column A and the target range is blank, then worksheet 4 dot shape CH and target row dot delete. That means if we press here delete, then the checkbox within this row will be deleted. You can see here. Then end if. Then send keys equal to escape. That means this will press the escape key from the keyboard to deselect the checkbox. Then as I have said previous, application dot screen update equal to true. With this code only, this will appear. Let's see. One, we got the checkbox. Two, we got the checkbox. If we delete two, the checkbox deleted. And if we want to checkbox to be created only if I enter value in column B. So here we have to change the codings here B, B. And here also B, B. Then type here one, nothing happens. You type here, you can see checkbox appear. And if I delete here the this one, nothing happened. If I go here and delete it, checkbox got deleted. So in this way, you can automatically create a checkbox.
again let's see one thing okay so here we got the checkbox if i click here then we call this value then again if we remove the tick mark then this false so this cell is linked if i want to link this cell then in the linked you have type this one h okay first delete this one and type here one we got the checkbox the click here you can see in h so in this way you can create the checkbox automatically within the cell and also link a cell with this checkbox very easily with this vba code so i hope you like this video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or any suggestions or if you want to learn any new things please comment me in the comment section i will try to help you out so thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial